So this is uh, Grunfoss Scala 2. Just a quick informant that if you have this light, uh, number 3, that means that the pressure from your supply goes back into the pump. Because this pump is highly intelligent and it does have uh, when it's building up the pressure to your house, it detects you know if there's a irregularity. And uh, this light came on this morning, and as I'm also uh, monitoring the consumption of my pumps here, I can see that the Scala 2 pump was running uh, one kilowatt over its normal. So. I was alarmed by the irregular usage of power. So I quickly went into uh, the diagram of uh, Grundfos, which they kindly displayed on the internet, and discovered that the two valves that you need to clean, because here in uh, Southeast Asia we have uh, deep well water, though it's filtered, we still have some contamination of the supply. So once I took out this filter, by the way, make sure that you don't have uh, water inlet because then all the water will go straight to your face. This is uh, one of the return valves. It's quite easy to take out. And then here under, there's another return valve inside. Remember to position it right uh, according to the schematics. I would say that take the, take the feather out and clean the whole thing. Because once I took apart this pump, I could see all inside was quite dirty. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to pull out, you know, large objects. It's just that the surface that the pump is, uh, the sealant is not clean. And that makes the pump run more. Because it keeps on, you know, trying to put up a pressure that slowly goes back into the pressure uh, monitoring system. So. I would say a daily use uh, should be, you know, for a large house with five people inside, should be maximum 0 0.9 kilowatts. That's the, that's the, the, the job for this one, and that's with only supplying the house from a pressure uh, from a storage tank.